So how do you upload a YouTube short from your PC and not from mobile? Well, let me show you. First things first, make sure you get any editing software. There's a lot of free software out there right now, but for this uh, video, I'm gonna use Premiere Pro just because I think it's probably one of the most common ones alongside Sony Vegas or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a couple of things and uh, let's go through and have a look. So because I'm on Premiere Pro, it might be slightly different to what you are using, um, but just try your best to follow along. I'll explain what each thing does as I go through. First things first, when you get your clip, pull it into your timeline and you want to make sure that you end up getting your sequence into the right settings. So on Premiere Pro, you go sequence settings and up here, you'll see it says 1920 by 1080 because it's a 1080p footage. What you want to do is you want to flip these numbers. So go 1080 to 1920. What that will do is that will make your video into a vertical format, which is perfect for the shorts uh, uploads and TikTok as well, if that's what you're interested in. This is also how to really do TikToks. Um, now we'll have this page. Now if you've got 1080p footage, what you'll have is black bars at the top and at the bottom. And the easy way to fix this that I've found is to set your scale to 180. What that does is it takes away all of that and zooms in your footage to where you want it to be. So now that your footage is cut to the 180 scale, I think the cutoff is about 178, 179, but 180 is just really nice when you're doing like mass shorts to get them all loaded. So now we have it in the right format. Next thing we need to do is move on and make sure that we're hitting all the guidelines that YouTube Shorts has, which is it needs to be in a portrait mode, which we've done. It needs to be under 60 seconds. So we have that. We know we have that. And when you upload it to YouTube, which we'll get onto later, there are a couple more things that you need to include. The next thing that you want to do whilst you're in your editing software is now render out the footage. So let's go do that now. So I'll go to export. And the big thing you want to change here is the preset or the uh, rendering output, whatever you, you know it says for you. You want to make sure that you change it so that it stays in the correct format. If I kept it to 1080p or any of like, you know, similar YouTube 1080p, Twitter 1080p, any of them ones, it's going to reset the format back to the full screen, long, long form type, you know, 16 by 9. We'll lose the verticality. What you want to do is you want to match source and I'm going to choose adaptive high bitrate. And as you can see, it moves the black lines, it removes them, the black bars, sorry. And now we are just stuck with the format that you will, you'll know for shorts and TikTok in, in that mobile format. So what you'll do is you'll choose where you want to render it out, choose a file name, whatever, render it out in that, export it, and then we'll, we'll head on over to YouTube and get ready to upload it. Now that we're on YouTube, what you want to do is upload your footage like you would any other video, drag it in or set out your files, whatever you normally do. Now that we're on this screen with the upload, make sure that you set everything that you want to set it to, make sure you include all your, like your thumbnails that you've got free, your titles, your description, whatever else. The only thing that you need to add here to make sure that your video hits the shorts platform, the shorts feed, is to include hashtag shorts somewhere within the tile or the description. I am testing out now whether or not it's better to have it in a uh, tile or description or to have it in the both. I, I don't know what the best answer is right now, but as long as it's included in one of those, it will be picked up by the shorts algorithm. And hopefully from there, you'll start finding some views from the shorts feed. That is pretty much all you need to do though to upload onto YouTube. Well, that is it really. The video should now be in short format. It should be uploaded to YouTube with all the parameters that it requires. Anything from there is just all good to go. Nothing else you need to do on top of that. Just make sure you're doing all your tags and stuff anyway, just for the sake of it, even if it doesn't always pick them up. That's just a good advice, really. But that's it, really. The video should now be in short format. It should be ready to be fully uploaded to YouTube with all the parameters met that YouTube requires for the shorts feed. And that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.